heartbroken mother speaks out about the death of her daughter. The teenager died last week after a shooting in Montgomery back in August. Tammy Jones shared her tragic story with our Rosanna Smith. She has a powerful message for young people and parents. I miss her so much. Just a day before she lays her daughter to rest, Tammy Jones does her best to focus on all the good times they shared. She would be upset with me right now for crying. She always made me smile, so I just want people to remember her as being the beautiful soul that she was, happy and loving. 18-year-old Erica Menora graduated in May from Lee High School and was enjoying life as a new mom to twins Kaizy and Kayomi. They're just like their mom, personality and everything. Jones says it was on August 31st when their whole world turned upside down. Erica had been rushed to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the head. At first I was told she was going to live 48 hours and that they told me that eventually her brain would die. First five days she got stronger and stronger and everything that they said turned out not to be true. She proved them wrong. She fought the entire time. Erica remained in the hospital for six weeks until she passed away on October 11th. Jones says while she doesn't know all the details surrounding the shooting, she does know the suspect charge was her daughter's boyfriend of three months. And that is why she's offering this message to young people. Listen to your parents because I warned Erica. Your parents know, you know, they know judgment of character. They know, you know, some some of the people who are good for you to be around and some of the people who are not. Now a GoFundMe has been set up and all the donations collected will go towards a trust fund for the 10 month old twins Erica leaves behind. You can find that link right now in this story on the 12 News app. Rosanna Smith, WSFA 12 News. Erica's funeral is scheduled for Saturday at noon at Fresh Anointing House of Worship. The Montgomery Police Department, meanwhile, has charged 21-year-old Keandre Haynes with capital murder in that case. He remains in the Montgomery County Jail without bond.